What is going on, brothers and sisters? Welcome to Heroes Adventure, A Road to Passion. You might recognize this because we played it a little bit earlier on, like a month ago. However, I realized it was coming out for 1.0. There's going to be like tons of new quests and scenarios in it, and I didn't want to miss that. So I decided I was going to wait and then restart this game when the going got hot. Now, I'm going to play as a Blade character here. We're going to grab this and then they also added in this new special metal it's a metal it's a legendary accessory hp increases by 666 counter increases six percent uh combat support summon a combat type ban ping sheng shuang chu to assist in battle after entering combat i don't know what that means but i think what i want to do is this let's grab that I'm gonna try it out. Let's just see how this works, getting this uh, early access. I mean, it's probably a little broken, but I wanna do that and let's actually switch up our masteries here a bit. And I'm gonna take Lone Wanderer. We're gonna play by ourselves. We're not gonna recruit anybody to help us out. So while we have, let's see. When you travel alone and kill the opponent through battle, you can get three times the experience and get 100% final damage, so. Let's play this out and see how this will go. Our name, Vinegar Shrimp, will be surnamed Chu, family name Fang, Chu Fang. Do you know the reference? Drop in, in the, the year comments of below. Bing Wu, what? the court was torn by factions, and the nation's strength declined day by day. The northern Yan state says that the opportunity to invade, causing wars and chaos, and the people's misery. The local lords looked on with indifference and took advantage of the turmoil to recruit martial arts forces and claim their own domains. In a short time, the martial arts sects of all sizes were involved in the strife. The price of the martial world thus began. Oh, that was really neat. That was new. They didn't have that before. I believe it was in Chinese previously. I don't even think it was translated. I am going to skip the beginning part here just because we've done this part before just to move us along. These two got in a fight. She's a thief. This is the young constable. It's a woman pretending to be a man. Let's help up the young constable. We went with the... We we helped the thief last time, but this time I'm going to help the constable just to see if anything really changes. I know in, in the beginning this part doesn't change. You get the same options for techniques between them and the scenario is pretty much exactly the same where he's injured however it's not due to the fight it's from their internal injuries that they already have or some sort of sickness so yang style internal strength increases damage speed or balance inter internal strength how about i get the revitalization revitalization technique that might come in handy being a solo player Yep, so let's just skip this. Thank you for teaching me how to play the game again. I really appreciate you. We go to the items here. We can see we have this. I'm going to equip that. You can see our HP just skyrocketed, of course. <laughs> we have our manual here. So we can set this. Do we want to learn it? Yes. So you are actively learning these manuals as you play the game. So you can only learn one at a time. So you make sure you have them equipped, essentially, in a learn mode. And you gain XP in every fight from it. So max at max level, this will give uh, 100 MP, HP, defense, some medical increase, knowledge, and I can use heal in battle. And then the main internal effect, after each action, recover 5% of maximum HP. Okay, that's pretty nice, honestly. So we will use that. These are just the consumables I started with. HP recovery, 100. And then the other, I grab some low-grade tea as a gift item. So let's uh, take a nap here, but first I'm going to go grab the revival pills in there, grab the incense from there, and we're going to go sleep before Shi Chen, which is roughly, I think it ends up being eight hours. And then they asked me to go get some food because we're hungry. I need to go get eight berries and we're going to go. That increased my XP. All right. Still a while for the forest light head. If we wander around, we might really starve today. Yep, so this is just talking about like how to move around the map, how, what the markers look like, etc. We have 11 Shi Chen to get this done. Found some berries, and then we're going to have a snake up here. <laughs> so this just kind of gets us ready for combat. Why is my HP so low? Oh, that's right. Oh, so this is 
Gunpung, Xingxiao. Wait, does that count as not being solo though? I don't know if that counts as being solo or not. It might not, actually. And if it does, hold on, we'll test it, but we got the Viper here. So let's hit it right from the front. And it has 150 HP. It evaded me, that didn't help a lot. 411, jeez. That's way too overpowered. Hold on. Grab that berry. Go to the Viper here. I want to hit him from the front. 184. Okay. Jesus. And now if I do... Let me take this off. I remember there being a cutscene up here, but I don't want to do it just yet. And 197. I'm definitely not getting the XP. So you know what? We'll keep the metal, but I'm not going to use it. Because we're summoning someone into the battle to assist us. And that's not going to help me with our perks. So that's okay. But we could use that. Maybe we could just sell it for cash, you know? Grab this. We'll get some fighting on. Yeah, like 227. Absolutely massive. And we're gaining more experience, it seems. And here we just help out the beast tamer. Here he was trying to tame some creatures. Ooh, almost got the kill myself. Pretty strong here, if I do say so myself. Just a solo warrior. And then he tells us about the nameless village and whatnot. And then the boss boar for the area shows up and he tames him and they become friends and it's cute. So I'm just going to kind of go in here. I just want to clear these up. If I've got four berries, so I need to go find one more before I leave. And I've got my revitalization technique. Oh, wait, I don't want to. I can level it up myself. I feel like that's new cancel wait yeah okay that's okay revitalization techniques in here all right we're okay for the moment i see if okay, that's my last berry that i actually need and then i don't think i can kill a boar let's try i want to see how strong we are i remember boars were a problem on the very first time i played this game because of our damage and hp difference that does not seem to be the case here my attack and damage is a bit low, comparatively. Leveled up. That's pretty nice. Let's hit this boar real quick. I want to see the revitalization technique. F7, I think it was right there. Just getting that passive HP is nice. Recover 28 HP and bleeding value decreases by 2. That's actually super useful. It's not huge, but like in the beginning of a battle when I'm trying to gain some some distance and I'm not going to be getting an attack and I can use the revitalization. I think, was there an exit like over here? No, it's not over here. There was an exit up this way, I thought, but maybe it's a little deeper in. Wild boar saw me, that's okay. Ooh, oh, word, there's a lot of boars here. So with a scenario like that, like I could have backed up here and healed just so I was out of attack range and got a heal on me if I needed it, but I don't at the moment. Get the side attack in. And then I can get an attack on these guys here. Looking really good still. Now we're going to take some damage, of course. I'm going to take a step back so I can hit two of them. Got a second attack, and I'm not sure what caused that. It must be something within my perks. I'll take out the next one right there. 
And then I, of course, can't take another step back to hit both of these at once, but I can hit this guy. All right, we are actually sufficiently strong here. Vitalization technique is leveling up, which is really nice. Man, we are the fourth level now for revitalization technique. We're going to cruise as a solo boy here. I'm digging this. Th that's the way out. But actually, I found a spider. Nice. I'm going to go back to this direction down here to where that cutscene was that I skipped. Because uh, with these perks as a lone warrior, I can absolutely handle that. Knockouts. Wasn't intending to fight more snakes, but that's okay because I had to get down here anyways. And we're gaining a lot through combat right now because of our bonuses. So getting these early levels will be pretty helpful. Normal attack. What did that just say? True Fang triggers extra drops. Okay, I don't know what triggered that. It, it's actually just part of luck, I think. Aha, yeah, he's still here. So we can choose to help him out. When you're not a lone warrior and you come in here for the first time, this is uh, not an easy battle. And, and mostly because I couldn't get to him in time. So let's go here. Start her up. If I go here, I'm going to end up hitting him. So I'm going to put myself here. Or I mean blocking him in. So I'm hoping that these guys mostly go for me. Perfect. And that one. Oh, what? He was close enough? Oh, I lost the fight still? That is so unfortunate. I really wanted to help him out. I guess I should have killed the other two. I forgot I could one-hit them. That was my fault there. Need a sickle for that. Grab some extra items from there. And now we'll just skadoodle Bob on out of the forest. We'll head back, turn our berries in, and then we'll probably head to the Nameless Village just to see what's going on there. I'm not going to try and fight everything. Unless the boars are back, then I'm probably not going to avoid them. So I'll skip the fights here, and I'll meet you in the temple again. And we're back to the dilapidated temple here. Now we can rest assured. How was the hunting this time? Um, well, I guess I have other options here. Before, I didn't have all these options. How about I hand over a portion of boar meat? You're you're in for a treat. I'm sure, going to show you how to grill wild boar meat. I guess maybe that's like the best option. Wow. Okay. That's cool. I'm pretty sure that was completely different than last time. I definitely didn't have boar meat before. But I'm pretty sure I had snake meat. If you hadn't eaten all day and had a fight with someone, you wouldn't care about manners either. Facts. Mastered the method of combining something there. There's a village nearby, and then they say the same thing. They're going to rest for three days, it looks like. So return to them within three days. Cool. What did this say? Courage increased. Stamina increased. Relations increased. Relations with the Crime Bureau. I feel, I, it said it definitely said like something happened up there in the top, and I couldn't read what it said really. Extra drops. Where did this come from? Oh, maybe that's what I got from that shrine right there. So extra drops. That makes sense for why this was happening now. Items is just the kudzu root that we found in a spider, and some pig bristle and some eggs. Those were in the chests. Scrap silver and wild boar fangs. Passives. I'm gonna go down this fire path here. Or maybe I go like a little more defensive, like counter path, counter up, successfully counter one attack, the attacker's action, something. Trigger counter one attack, gain an additional 10 spirit, effects of poison, internal bleeding, and sealed are reduced. Each time you are attacked, counter temporarily increases by 5%. Interesting. Thunder is accuracy achieve maximum burst damage each successful hit temporarily increases crit Ooh, that could be nice gain additional points when getting hit 
Each attack on a target increases final damage. Crit damage. Each attack reduces the target's evasion. Tends to defense. We can get some parries in here for every point of constitution. The final damage received is reduced by one and a half. Parry, parry, parry. Each time your attack parry is triggered, you gain 10 additional points of spirit. This attack does not move. Final attack damage increased by 30% for each point of dexterity lower than the opponent. The final damage increases. Wow, that's actually pretty good if I don't like spend any points in dexterity. Each attack received. Okay. Received no damage for the first time being attacked in each battle. To receive damage brought by no number negative statuses. This might be beneficial. Let's go down the... Suitable for quick strike. Let's go down the mountain path. Let's just be absolute behemoths here. I'm also pretty high level already, too. What are we? We're level 10 already, actually, because of the extra XP gain. So that's huge. So we want to get our constitution up for sure. And then I can go here. So we've got a parry of 6%, it looks like. Is that standard? That's the blade talent. It says knife plus 30, but I feel like that's wrong. Maybe we'll see in some other some other areas here. Let's see. Where's counter? Or parry? Head throw no. Parry right here. 7% chance. Affects the probability with a parry, which increases damage reduction by an additional 50% when triggered. After triggering a parry, the opponent will not be able to trigger a crit. Interesting. I do have some points to distribute, so let's go constitution. Let's become thick boys. What do you have to say? Do you want to spar with me? This time I'll use 30% of my strength. All right. Not sure how this will benefit us, but we'll find out. Ooh, dang. I did some damage. F them up. Absolutely messed you up. I am an absolute hero. You're indeed making rapid progress. We'll have a chance to compete again. I leveled up to 11 as well. Do you have something else to say? 50% of your strength? Okay. Is there like a benefit to doing this perhaps? We'll find out. I can get a back attack. Got a crit on me. Almost enough. Almost. I feel like I could take him at 100% strength. Gain three combat. Gain some experience. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah. Oof. Oh my. We might not be able to do this one. We'll see. Oh, big crit. Yeah. Okay, this one's too much for us, it seems. Oof. Got the parry, though. Get the back attack. A crit would help us out a ton. Did we get lucky? Ah. Uh, so close. I need to... She, I think it just... She's like an ultimate crit for like 1,200. <laughs> it's easy for me to have such skills. With more practice, you'll definitely beat me. This was 100%, so not ready yet. Maybe by the end of this uh, timeline, we can finish that off. That'd actually be a really cool achievement to hit. So we are healthy. Let's head to the Nameless Village and see what we got going on here. But brothers and sisters, if you're loving the Heroes Adventure, Pash, Road to Passion, and you want to see more of these lovely Eastern type tactical RPGs as well, make sure you're hitting that like button down below. I'm going to skip this. Um, I'm going to pierce directly. I don't want this guy to help me out because one of his abilities is he'll come and rescue me if I'm in trouble. And that'll affect my lone, lone warrior here. Oh, this is different. Vagabond been wandering around for at least three or four days. Nothing interesting has happened. It's really boring. Be aware that if you're not sincere enough and the village is not willing to have too much contact with us. So-called gifts. Ah, oh, they're just telling us about the gift system. So, like, I can increase the likeness of people with gifts. And then with that, we'll gain uh, some items from them or, like, gain more ability through with them. To go back here. You can also use that to recruit people, which we won't be doing, but look at the duck. It's a goose. 
What do you want to do with it? Banish the goose. Oh, that's just sitting in the chair. So this will be like a place we can crash at for free. Get a bucket. Found some small windmill in there, apparently. Explore kill skill has been upgraded. Doesn't seem I can do, do anything with the table. I can't reach it because all this stuff is in the way. I can't do anything about that. All right. Dexterity XP also increased. This guy will teach me how to mine. So you get grades, different grades of pickaxes, which shows like damage probabilities and gathering. And you can gather up to 10 resources from a node or until your pick breaks. And you can buy multiple picks as well. If you buy multiple picks, you can, you know, keep going even when one breaks. I don't think he had anything else to say to me, right? No. So just to kind of reiterate, you know, I feel like the music's a bit loud for me. That'll be good. Apply. So just to show you, so like if we go to the gift here, they'll tell us like what kind of preferences they have. Main. I don't know what that means. But it'll also tell us what we have on hand that we can give them. I can learn things from him. And if I hit info here, I can see some information about him. You learn more about as you get to know them too. I can buy things from him. So it looks like he just sells ores. That's pretty handy. And info. I feel like there was something that told me more about them, like what would happen if I got their levels up, but maybe there's nothing for him. Oh, sorry, it's right here, gift. It's like at friendly, I can exchange items. I can be considered intimate and gain 100 mining XP, and then hating, he'll, he'll stay away from us. <laughs> and there'll be some people who will allow, who will join you. So like this guy here, for instance. I'm more interested in herbs. I'll listen to the medical knowledge. Oh, hold on. Let me talk to you, sir. So, and then this guy, if I hit the gift here, we can see with him. If the old man with white hair is present in the battle, they will definitely not stand by when you're on a close feature. Challenge him in a duel can increase in my own XP. Intimate can be considered intimate gathering XP. And our relationship is very good. You can get the following help. And I can buy and sell items and exchange items. Current relationship can be increased to 100. I can give him T to increase this relationship. And then there are some where invite. I'm old and weak. Not like you young people. I should give up on this wandering life. So like if they have that invite button, they will join you at some point. Usually when you get to a, I think it's like a close relationship. They'll join you. So that's very cool. So he's got some things we could buy. We can get like healing stuff from him, which is nice. We can also sell to him as well because of our relationship. It's like all these medicinal things we'll sell to him. I'm actually going to, I am going to do it because we're going to need some coinage. So that'll be good. Thank you, sir. I'm not worried about getting the relationship. You can also steal from the town. And if you do that, or just anybody, I should say, not the town. So you have all these different stats. Your, is it this one? Yep, right here, propriety. Respect others, be sincere. When the upper limit's 100, you can receive benefits. If you are stealing, your propriety goes down, whether you're caught or not. So just FYI there. This is the inn. Found this young boy here called Zalbane. He's asking if I'm afraid of bugs. Never said bugs are poisonous. Give me this worm catching net. Nice. So we can use that on logs and such to gain bugs. Yeah, I want to know your secret. Please get Zalbe a wooden sword. We can do that. And then I think this is the chief as well. Yeah, village elder. Very nice. Village head, feel free to find you if you need anything. You know, these are what I was just talking about by other attitudes. 
Picking up things that belong to others reduces it. Give daily gifts increases it. Righteousness, benevolence, trustworthy with them, courage. They all have little bonuses to them. Um, nothing I really care about from you, and I can't pick up... If it has a red outline, that means you would gain propriety or lose propriety if you take it. If it has a white outline, it's free to take. Like this axe up here. It has a white outline, it's free to take. Sharp stones from here. Big white goose. Are you... Uh, are you have a green name. Can fish over here. Can, if I get a sickle, we can hit that up. Get that flower. There's something in this basket. Grass carp, okay. Oh, can grab something from the rocks here, it seems. Nothing back there for us to get another ax. That's nice. This must be like the woodcutter's house. Yep, and he has some wood here I can just grab. Thanks for the free wood, brother. You in your home? You asleep, big guy? Oh, it's a little girl. Xiaohua? Do you want to play a guessing game? This is hard. So these are like, if, unless they've fixed them, these are like Chinese idiom, kind of like word plays and such. So you can't do them in English. Like need half, leave half. Sky thunder tired. So like my thought is like, these are based off of the, the, transiterations of the Chinese word like written in Mandarin or Cantonese or whatever it is and it's based on like the radicals so it's probably like half of that word and like it makes a different word I don't know what it is tired I got it right oh I'm so stupid <laughs> thanks I appreciate you little sister let's get started I know this one you can guess again sky I'm so stupid try again talk Thunder. There's no water in the pond, no soil in the ground. Also? Okay. More children are good, fewer children are wonderful. More children are good, fewer children are wonderful. Daughter? Wow. I don't know. I feel like these are like Chinese idioms or something, but we got them. Genius at work here. Don't mind me. Got a spider in there. I could, pro I could crack it open or have the key for that. Let's grab some of the wood laying around. Perfect. I'm going to go take a nap. But before we do that, if we come into here, this is the blacksmith's shop. And he has nothing that we can take in here from him. Wow, it's so hot in here. And he basically tells us that um, I can become an apprentice to him. For 20 stamina, he teaches me how to craft, and then he gives us some basic crafting methods. If I go into my inventory, I believe I even have another book here. That's just some calligraphy. What is this? Nameless appliance. It's a bowl. Extra materials. Other? Nope. But oh, what's this? A bronze key. Can open locked boxes. Oh, neat. Okay. Talk. It looks like he has a quest for us. Eight pieces of iron ore. Yeah, I'll get it for you. But otherwise, you can build some stuff here. So if I make the wooden sword for our boy, I'm going to need one water and four wood. So we're going to need to get an axe. So if I talk to him here, go to buy. He has some basic tools for us. You can see I'm going to buy like... I'll grab two fishing poles and I'll grab two hatchets. How much money do I have? Where is it? 210. Okay. I'm going to grab three pickaxes. And I think I'm fine without the rest of the stuff for now. So that'll at least get us set up for success. If I came up here, I could go to the well and pull some water. And then I can come up here. Or when I could hit this and finish mining the resources in here for the day. We've gathered everything. There's also a tree over here that I could start to gather on. Oh, leaves are normal. Leaves, bark, branches. I feel like this is a new type of tree then. Interesting. That's not what we used to get from that before. That's okay. So we'll probably take our action to the road. 
So that way I can make Zaobei's nice wooden sword for his quest. But brothers and sisters, we're going to wrap up the hero's adventure here. Like I said, if you're loving and having fun, hit that like button down below. Double check to make sure you're subscribed as well. And don't forget this game did just come into 1.0. So definitely do give it a check out. But otherwise, until next time, stay shabby.